Fan Xiao, stop pretending to be obedient by kneeling there. Are you waiting for me to praise you for taking advantage of the situation? Would I still be a man if I didn't seize that chance? You've offended me greatly, and yet you're proud of it? I'm sorry. I'm not only proud, but I'm also enjoying it. Shut up. How dare you? How dare you? Is that your punishment? I'm a ghost cultivator. That slab was nothing to me. Your Majesty, your weakness is that you're too calm and rational. No matter how much I push you, you'd never vaporize me and turn me into ash in a fit of anger. You're the one who has spoiled me into who I am now. I've been thinking about something. The Heavenly Emperor's bloodline is the purest among the gods and they are known as the Son of the Heaven. Normally, they feel no pain, nor do they get sick. No demonic or dark energy can attack their bodies. I have an assumption. Could it be that whatever has appeared on your body is a legendary punishment from Heaven? It looks like I guessed correctly. You have always worked so hard for the Heaven. But you got punished? Why? Fansha, you've followed me for so many years. Why can't you learn? It won't end well for you if you know too much. Don't ask or think about the things that aren't for you to know. Leave. The Great Sacrifice Ceremony is approaching. It only happens once every five millennia. Until then, behave yourself. And don't come to the palace unless I summon you. Your Majesty, can't you just... I've raised you for several thousand years. You must complete your mission. Forget it. I'll excuse myself. Tao Tai and Tao Wu won't end their fight in less than three days. They're just scratching each other. They both have tough skin and thick flesh. Will His Majesty and Xiong Che join the fight? I really wonder who's stronger. Xiong Che's power has always been a mystery. The youngest and the most inexperienced among us is Tao Wu. He can almost fight with Tao Tai equally now. After Li Su's death, you both disappeared. I guess he didn't idle around. No. On Kunwu Mountain that air, those two beasts showed up a bit later, but they also received Li Zhu's care. Chongqing wasn't a talkative person from the start. 